Hello and welcome to my first ever track guide for F099. Today we'll be going over Mute City 1. Mute City is definitely F0's most iconic venue, and while Mute City 1 is a very basic track, there are still strategies and tactics you can use to improve your placings on the course. General disclaimer, but this guide is meant for newer players or players looking to improve, and I will be talking about mostly basic general strategies for the course. There may be things in this guide that you already know, in which case, that is awesome. The first thing to note about Mute City 1 is that the pack is almost always tight. Very rarely will you find yourself so far behind or so far ahead that you are away from those players. You are going to be getting bumped into and spun an attack into a lot of the time. So it is very smart, in my opinion, to play very defensive at the start, at least for the first three laps. Wait until lap 4 or even 5 to start boosting a lot and trying to cut ahead. Of course, if you are very far behind and at risk of ranking out, it is a good idea to play aggressive. But for the most part, you should try playing very defensively for the first parts of the race. The tight pack leads into my next point in that energy management is very crucial on Mute City 1, a lot more than most of the other courses currently available in the game. Because so many people are bumping into you and spinning into you at once, it is very easy to lose energy. You could start a lap with a full energy bar, and before you even reach the jump plate, you already only have half of it because you've been attacked so much. So, if you find yourself running low on energy, you should adjust your strategy accordingly. Some stuff you could do is hanging back to collect more super sparks instead of defending your position in the pack, or avoiding taking shortcuts and boosts to maintain your energy level and improve your survivability. The next point to talk about is where are the best boost areas in Mute City 1. In F0 SNES tracks, the general idea is that you want to use your boosts on the slowest parts of the tracks. And for Mute City 1, there are quite a few options. The first one is on the first turn after the initial straightaway containing the pit area. The second one is on the second straightaway, instead of taking the jump plate, you just activate a boost and go right through. The third and most important area are the rough patches right before the finish line. Mute City 1 is a very basic track. There's not really many shortcuts or cool little tricks you can do to skip parts of the track, but there is one important one, though it is quite difficult to do and, for the most part, practically non-applicable. On the final turn right before the finish line, there is a part where you can cut inside on the railings and get to the finish line much quicker than intended. Of course, this is very difficult to pull off in a 99 race because there are not only other players but a lot of the AI snail drivers as well. This is mostly used in time trials and in F0 SNES in my Machine World Record videos, when I was recording them, I affectionately referred to this cut as the Cut of Doom. I call that because I was very, very terrible at hitting it very consistently. I think I hit it usually in 1 in 10 tries at best. Still though, it does have some uses, mainly on the final lap to try and get a better placing. This is because to use it best, it will take some energy, of course, hitting the guardrail, and then of course, boosting to get back to top speed. So, it's best used, in my opinion, on the final lap, trying to make one last push to increase your placing, if you can hit it. The last thing to talk about in regards to Mute City 1 strategies is when to use the Skyway boots. On the screen right now, I will be putting an overlay of the Mute City 1 track layout with the Skyway boost overlaid on it lovingly created by F-Zero Nexus Discord member Samurai Goro. I have marked this map with three different stars, which are locations that I believe are the best places to generally activate the Skyway boosts. This will vary, of course, depending on your position and all that, but in my opinion, these three areas are the best places to activate it, and I will explain why. The first location with the orange star at the top, when you activate it, depending on your placing, but generally when you activate it there, you will be able to get a very slight extension off of the curve leading to the next straightaway. In regards to the purple star, this is probably the best place to activate the Skyway boost on the entire course. When you activate it there, generally it will last long enough to reach the very long cut where the rough starts. The one at the bottom left where the Skyway boost extends off the track. Now, the red star is for the final extension, which is the curved, uh, the curved turn right before the finish line. In order of importance to least importance, I would say the purple star is the most important place, the orange star is the second, and the red star is third. 
Though, of course, if you find yourself in a situation where you can activate it earlier and get to an extension to where one of the stars will lead you to, then by all means, do that instead. There is actually one more thing to Mute City 1, but it is only for the Grand Prix mode and, by extension, the Mini Prix mode. It is very good to start stacking KOs as soon as you can on Mute City 1. The reason why is because the Grand Prix are a grueling battle. You have to do five courses in a row. However, getting KOs from other machines, whether it's human opponents or AI snails, it gives you more energy and also recovers all of them. And it stacks throughout the whole Grand Prix. So in my opinion, it is a good idea to go and fish for KOs on Mute City 1 and get a lower placing than you can and make it up later on in the Grand Prix with better placings using that extra energy you got from stacking KOs on Mute City 1. With all that said, Mute City 1 is a very basic track and it is very hard to win on that track because it is so basic. However, I have shown you that there are some strategies and things to keep in mind that can help you improve and place better on Mute City 1. Thank you for watching the video, give it a like if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you haven't. I really appreciate you guys watching my videos. Thank you, and goodbye.